Clinton guaranteed. All right, drop the hammer. Let's head for the state where everything is bigger. I can attest to that. Having received my first cowboy boots from a dusty little place in Wichita Falls when I was about knee-high to a milking calf, and to this day look to the Lone Star State for the interesting good footwear. Welcome in the former Texas GOP chairman, former senior advisor to Rand Paul's presidential campaign, and veteran Republican strategist Steve Munisteri. Steve, always a pleasure to get a chance to talk with you. Everything's bigger in Texas, but is the win going to be big for Ted Cruz tonight? Well, he's, he's going to win here. The question is the margin. The polls have shown that he's had about a five to ten point lead. But what's interesting is I'm getting reports from all over the state that the record turnout is just, you know, blowing through the roof. So the question is, who are these new people? Are they Trump people or are they Cruz people who got fired up because our governor, Greg Abbott, or Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, et cetera, or former Governor Rick Perry, really made a big effort in the last week to sound the alarm? So he's going to win, but I'm not sure why, by what about. And I do think Trump will get delegates, and I don't think Cruz will hit 50 percent, which gives him winner take all. All right. Now, earlier today, the senator was home. He was back in Houston to cast his vote, and again, likely for himself. And he talked immediately about how important it is for him to win Texas big. Here's what he said. Uh, listen, I believe we're going to do very, very well here in Texas. It's going to be up to Texans to make their decision. But there is no doubt that any candidate who cannot win his home state has real problems. I believe we will do well here in Texas. Steve, I think you put it very well there. You've got to win your home state. Now, to your point, I also just spoke with David Harsanyi and Ron Christie, and we talked about this a little bit at the top here. But this comes down to numbers. Ted Cruz is going to win Texas. But in your opinion, your savvy opinion, knowing what happens pol politically, not only in Texas, but around the country, doesn't he have to win by double digits? Doesn't he really have to crush Donald Trump or in essence, he hasn't really made much of a dent? Well, I look at it a little differently. He needs to win Texas in another state or two. So if he was to win Texas by a small amount, but then picked up, say, Oklahoma and Arkansas, it would still be a good night for him. And conversely, if he won by 10 points in Texas but didn't win any place else, I don't think that's a very good night for him because he's already told everybody he's going to win here. It's his home state. He has, to, he has to demonstrate that he can win in some other states because right now he just has one caucus win in Iowa, and then don't forget, he had three fourth-place finishes, which are not, you know, not the best. I'm sorry, third-place finishes. So the insiders tell us that Donald Trump is going to bury everybody today by the time everything is all said and done. Again, your experience looking at these numbers over a long time. How do you beat well, him, Steve? How do you beat him, Steve? Yeah, the magic number is 281. 281 is the number of delegates that Donald Trump needs to win in order to be at the 50% mark. So another way to look at this is if he gets under 50%, he gets under 281, that means he actually has to overperform that in the future. Uh, here are a couple other statistics for you. If he was to get 60% of the delegates through the, uh, the primary today from the start in Iowa, he'd still have to win 46% on the way out. If he gets 45% of the delegates tonight, he has to win 51%. So there's still a long way to go. There will be 1,747 delegates that are remaining to uh, be selected after tonight. So if, if Trump you know, gets 60% of the delegates, it's going to be very hard for him uh, uh, very hard to stop him. But if he, if he gets 50% or 45%, then there's still an opportunity for the opposition to stop him. So, you know, I'm an Italian-American. I go by that famous Italian-American philosopher, Yogi Berra, who says it's not over till it's over. <laughs> I got about 30 seconds left. Do you agree with those who say that when Donald Trump, if Donald Trump continues this winning, that there is going to be a civil war type of effect at the convention and we are looking at a blowing up of the Republican Party? Well, you could, but I was at the last contested convention in 1976. So we've, we've had these civil wars before, Nixon, Rockefeller, uh, and we've survived them. They're not healthy for the party, but we've survived them. But I'll tell you what, there's going to be a lot of shots fired in that civil war tonight. And sometimes a civil war is not a bad idea, maybe to clean out some of the old and bring in some of the new. Steve Munisteri, always a pleasure, my friend. Thanks for joining us. We will talk to you soon. We will continue to talk to you every single night right here on the hard line. Make sure that you join us. 6 o'clock Eastern Time and also 10 o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock Pacific Time. See, I've got to get my Eastern and my Pacific straight. That's every weeknight right here on Newsmax. Stay tuned. Left versus right. The political animal is next.